Welcome back, it's Lauren over here at TMF Apparel USA, and today we're going to talk about something that just drove me absolutely insane yesterday. It, I honestly, anxiety to the moon, stress to the moon, all revolving around this machine right here. We're going to talk about the Epson error code 131B. Now, if you've gotten this error code on your Epson, mine is in 3880 base, which is a 3880, a 3800, uh, maybe the P800s have the same thing, or the 4880s. That 131B is an error code that indicates the print head is overheating. Well, what does that mean? It means it's getting too hot, right? So what happened to me yesterday is I'm printing apparel like normal, printing t-shirts, halfway through a shirt, the printer stops printing, docks the print head, error codes out, orange flashy lights, and it says error 131B. What do you do in this situation? What causes it? In this situation, 131B, since it's a heat related thing, means something is probably being overworked. It's not gonna be a temperature because I'm in a temperature controlled room that is roughly 73, 74 degrees most of the day. So step one is to cool off your print head. Unplug the printer, turn it off, let it chill, put a fan on it. Part of the inside of that main board is too hot. So let's let that cool down. Step two is gonna be, why did it get so hot? Most likely, the answer to that is it was being overworked, right? So it's trying too hard to do a task that it shouldn't be trying so hard to do. So it's pushing ink through and it's monitoring kind of the pressure within that system. And part of it might be uh, related to maybe a head clog. It could be related to a clog damper, an ink flow issue. So maybe your ink's not flowing as, as vibrant as it should be, or as thick as it should be, or as fluid as it should be. And so all of that can contribute to this error code. This error code does not necessarily mean that your print head is bad, or that your main board is bad. If you Google it, you're gonna come up with those two options, replace print head, replace main board. That's not necessarily the case. My printer back here is still functioning. We're gonna to have to send it through and do another uh, print here on this uh, test shirt. And I'll tell you what I've done to kind of remedy this. Step one is I took out the damper assembly, right? Let's check our ink flow first. Let's pull out the dampers. Let's see if we have uh, suction through them, fluid through them, and make sure we don't have any clogs. If that is also an issue, then we move on to the next thing, which would be our lines and our cartridges. We want to make sure we have ink flow. To do that, I take a syringe like this, and I take my damper, and I plug it into the damper and we pull it, right? We should hear a nice airflow. It should flow freely through that damper. That is what we wanna see. Now, is it pulling fluid through it? Yes, we are gonna pull fluid through it. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. Let's go ahead and uh, send this print through while I'm talking so that I can just keep myself uh, a little bit ahead of the game, multitask. So we wanna pull fluid be able to pull fluid through our dampers, right? We've got two little filters. It's kind of hard to see in the light here, but two little filters in there, and they can easily get clogged up. And when that happens, we don't get ink flow. So then what happens? Well, that head is trying to push ink through, and it's just not firing. So that buildup of pressure is gonna cause heat. Essentially, what causes heat is friction, right? So if we have more friction, more, uh, or say less flow, more friction, we're gonna get more heat causing that to error out. So I ran into the 131B error a few times yesterday and I was able to overcome it after an all day event. So what I said in my other videos before is that you want to start with the path of least resistance, right? It's not always gonna be the print head that's the problem. Now, sometimes you can get a print head clog, but if you're printing fine one minute and the next minute you're not printing anymore, Right? It's probably not the head. It's probably something in line with that. And in my case, it ended up being the damper assembly. Maybe not the entire assembly, but definitely a couple of the dampers in there were clogged. They were, they were slowing down uh, ink flow. And so I pulled them out and I cleaned them. And we can go over another video on how to clean dampers. You can do this a few times. You can't do it a hundred times, but I, you can probably get away with it once or twice by pulling fluid through them and cleaning them out and trying to unclog them. Uh, so that is a great way to kind of save yourself from this error. If you have access to the whole top of your printer like I do, it makes it a lot easier. If yours is still inside the entire case and you're doing a DTF printer, it's going to be a lot more difficult probably to 
get that whole ink assembly out of there. I would definitely take that shell off. But I hope this helps you out in combating it because when you start Googling some of these error codes that you get, you're going to come up with um, a lot of vague answers a lot of times. So this answer here is hopefully going to give you a little bit of hope that you didn't fry something or your print head's not toast or something of that nature. So if you enjoyed this video and you have other questions, we're going to go over some of the damper assembly in another video. So check out the um, playlist for that as well. 